Okay, guys, what we're going to do today is we're going to set up this little tiny setup. It's going to be, um, I'm thinking, one router, one switch, uh, maybe three computers. <clears throat> and what's going to happen is uh, I'm going to set it up so it runs DHCP. So uh, whenever the computers connect to the router, they're going to receive a DHCP from that router. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'll use uh, 2621XM <clears throat> and let's see, uh, 2960. And just three generic hosts. And we'll wire those up. Let's see. Okay, now those are wired up. Um, Right now, if we tried to get a DHCP, it would fail. Let's say IP requesting IP address. DHCP request failed. That's mainly because there's no router configuration. Plus, this link is down. It's not active because uh, the port's not configured. <clears throat> I'm not going to go through the uh, the configuration dialog. Uh, Well, let's go ahead and change the host name. Let's call it R1. Let's see. Um, now, we set this to FA00, Fast Ethernet 00. Uh, let's see, IP address. Let's make it something simple. 192.168.10.1. With a slash 24. Let's bring that port up. Port's coming up. <coughs> now, we'll go and set the DHCP. Set our pool. Call it IP10. Network is 192.168.10.0. With slash 24. The default route's 192.168.10.1. Uh, we'll exclude, let's say, the top 10 addresses or so. Let's say IP DACP exclude EXC. Uh, 192.168.10.1. 192.168.10.10. Copy the configuration over. Check our settings. Let's see, fast ethernet is configured. Uh, set to 192.168.10.1 with the slash 24. Uh, the pool is established with the network and a default route. Um, the exclusion is set 192.168.10.1 through 10.10. .10. Um, let's check and see if it receives the DHCP. And it does. 10.11 on that one. Ten dot twelve on that one. Ten dot thirteen on that one. And you should be able to ping through because since the the switch handles everything and it's all in the same uh, IP scheme, it, it's it's always going to be successful. Uh, if you ping to the router, you may notice that, that you're going to fail at first, and sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Um, so that's how you configure DHCP on a on a, a router setup like this. Um, thanks for watching.